ever been to downtown Boston yet? One day we will visit, but we haven't done that yet. Years ago we went somewhere, I can't remember. We got a sweatshirt or something. Hi everybody, we are getting back on trail. After being off for over a week, I needed to let my knees heal and our feet heal and just rest. And so, so blessed that we have a family in Massachusetts that 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 helped us and let us rest there. So it was really nice. We had lobster last night oh, and clams. And uh, today we got back on trail. The guy that dropped us off dropped us off in the middle of town instead of at the trailhead. Therefore, we had to walk another three miles. And the uphill was pretty hard for us to do after taking such a long rest. But if we weren't if we weren't uh, out of shape, it would not have been so tough. But hopefully the, the day, the rest of the, it's 3.3 miles to the shelter. I'm hoping we can get there before dark. If not, we'll be walking with our headlamps because I want to get to the shelter. <laughs> anyway, um, it's beautiful. I wanted to show you the trail. It uh, doesn't look too bad. There's no boulders and there's no... Um, Mud. Good morning. <sighs> My hair is all messed up. Second yeah, day. mine is too. Second day back on trail after rest. And it's way easier to. Uh, so far. So far in Vermont. Um, we basically we left Massachusetts late morning. We got up here late afternoon, rent a car. Then we had to find a ride to the trailhead and all that kind of jazz. So we really didn't get started till. 5.30. 5.30. So we hiked till 8.30 with six miles. Six miles. And it was pretty... So we got to do some easy. night hiking. It was fun. For that short amount of time. Short amount of time and the trail was a lot easier to do that kind of stuff. But so. hopefully we don't, we won't have to do that too much more. So we started out 7.30 today. We just try to figure out when the sun comes out and stuff. So... And also when... I think we can see because it's still kind of dark yeah. on the trail. Waterfalls in somebody's backyard. Just in someone's backyard. Oh my, that is so pretty. to rain today so Vermont will turn into Vermont very soon mm -hmm. that's what we're thinking yeah anyway we're getting going again we found out that Clover one of the friends that we met the knock is off trail and uh, don't know where his friend went yeah so well, those, you run into people out here again so but there's a lot more southbounders now we're coming across so anyway yep. have a good morning starting to rain lightly, but the trail just kind of softly fluctuates up and down, and so it's it's not physically taxing on your body. But once it starts to rain, maybe it will be Vermont again. Ooh, we keep seeing all these little fences, see this? These stone fences, I don't, look at these stone, another big stone fence. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's property. I don't know it's like it's an old property, if it was like an old place where people, I don't know. Because it seems to be, I think people would mark their lands whoops, with these, uh, with these things. Oh crap. There. With these rocks. And that would be their, I guess that would be their land. I really don't know. I need to find out. We just got to Vermont, so we'll have to find out. But look at this over here. 
That looks like a little underground cave or something right there. The structure. Oh, maybe it's just a rock. I don't know. We don't. Starting to rain. Might turn it into the muddy state we were waiting on. We were waiting to see. Don't want it to happen. Although I didn't get new shoes because I figured I'm not boulder hopping. I'm mud hopping. And why get new shoes just to shove them in the mud? So I still have a tiny bit of grips on them. I should have got ins you know insoles. I might do that when we stop if I don't have my new ones. Anyway, it's starting to rain. Got to put away my phone so I don't get wet. But it's beautiful. Beautiful. I kind of like the road. <laughs> Podunk. And then we're going to go under Interstate 89, which we drove up. Oh, we drove it up on this. Yeah. And then we got back on the trail. We got five miles to a little town called West Hartford. Not five miles, excuse me, point five miles. We'll stay on this side. I think it's a little bit safer. Yeah, it's safer. Yeah. And uh, it's supposed to be a blue barn, but... Yeah, we're gonna go check out the blue barn. We'll see. We'll see. It may not be open because things have things have just been hit and miss sometimes. But we gotta eat, so hopefully there'll be someone there so we can have our lunch. Anyway, this is this is kinda only one car, maybe two car, but not with us in it. <laughs> so and apparently there's horses that come here because there's a horse. Like beware of horses or watch for the horses or whatever. Mm-hmm. This is interesting, to say the least. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. Cloudy, but not making you bad. No, just a little misting. And we... oh, that was pretty hot. good, actually. Huh? You... Oh. oh, honey. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh huh. Pretty cool. Kind of like it. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Oh, there's apples here. They don't look like cra the uh, crab apples. They look like actually could be Honeycrisp. I don't know. It's almost time for Honeycrisp apples. One more month. Could be them. This is a bridge that people like to jump off of. Like craziness. I don't. I don't think I would want to do that. But apparently, it's deep underneath so you can jump from there but I don't know so the people that we just met at this hostel kind people it's not a hostel it's actually she just they just service hikers they will let you stay there for free uh, we didn't need to stay so we didn't access that and it's been really cool I told them we've had few and far between trail angels but yeah I don't know why you would jump off a perfectly good bridge, but apparently 10, 10 hikers yesterday jumped off. So, just to jump in, I guess, was the thrill of the thrill, I guess. I don't know, but I'm trying to see. It looks pretty deep, but I don't know. Shallow right there, that would kill you, but I mean, maybe farther down? The middle here? I don't know. Gotta be right here because it looks deep. It looks deep right here. Yeah, it's really dark and deep right there. Where you can see stuff there, stuff on that side. Yeah, I wouldn't I'm, I wouldn't do that. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to do that. People are like, you'd do it. Nope, I wouldn't do it even for a million dollars. Nope, nope, nope. We've got our first little bridges in Vermont. Looks like somebody weeded it, so thank you to whoever maintain this trail and Roger should be coming here in a minute but uh nice they cleared this all off because it's muddy mucky down there mucky muddy haven't seen any moose droppings I'm wondering if we have any moose around here not sure but we are picking up some mud now
these are destructive caterpillars. They actually kill the trees. That tree right there is, is dead wherever those caterpillars are. It's insane. You can see a tree way back there, just covered in them. Oh. Seems to be they, they, they like the deciduous trees, because this one's a deciduous. None of the pine trees have that stuff on them. Very interesting. Little creatures are the ones that are doing all the devastation. Uh -huh. That little guy. That's just one of them. There's a bunch down over here. I don't, they're not moving, so I'm wondering if... Oh, there's some inside there that are moving. Ugh. Ugh. They're just destroying these trees. I guess there's enough trees to go around. <laughs> I don't even know what kind of butterfly or moth they're going to be. No clue. wonder how they collect maple sure. syrup from maple trees. They kind of have these trees strung out pretty well. And they collect them. They usually have a collection center. I don't I didn't look for that, but and it's usually downhill. But yeah, we'll look for that. We can actually hear crickets. It's the first time we've heard crickets. We haven't, we didn't even hear them in Georgia, huh? Did we? Yep. It's weird. Oh, look at this, honey. So glad it's not pouring down rain right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't know about this, did you? It's a huge field. It almost looks like smoke, but it's just, it's just fog coming off the land. Moisture. Well, it looks like we're going to the left. Looks like we're going. We're not going through it. We're going to the left here, I think.